Welcome to the Kaspersky Security for Virtualization short how to video, the opening of a set of videos, aimed at enriching your knowledge of Kaspersky products and technologies. At the end of this video you will know how to integrate KSV with VMware infrastructure and to show the NSX automated security feature. In order to be familiar with the KSV product and its behavior we will review key KSV components, and how they interact with the VMware environment. This how-to assumes that you are already aware of NSX technology and have prepared your ESXi hosts for it, according to VMware guidelines. Hence we will proceed with KSV deployment onto VMware infrastructure, with deployed NSX components and Kaspersky Security Center. In rest of this video we will show you how NSX automated security works, by isolating infected virtual machines from the corporate network, and thus preventing malware spread. KSV is designed to protect virtual infrastructure, which incorporates NSX or vCloud networking and security platforms. In the case of NSX all file events occurring on the virtual machine, are intercepted by a guest introspection technology, and passed for analysis to the Kaspersky Secure Virtual Machine, or SVM. If malware or malicious activity is detected, the SVM reports this fact to the NSX manager that in turn assigns to the virtual machine a security tag acting as a criteria for virtual machine placement into a certain NSX security group. When the virtual machine is placed in the group, it is subject to an NSX security policy which blocks all network activities of the virtual machines within it. At first you will need to deploy an integration server that is responsible for KSV services registration in NSX Manager, and enables interaction between the VMware infrastructure and KSV. To deploy an integration server, run its executable file and proceed with all the steps of the deployment wizard. At the end of the integration server deployment ensure that it is listening on a configured network port and IP address available for NSX Manager, vCenter Server, and the SVM which will be deployed later. To register product services with NSX, run the integration server management console from within KSC. In the console provide the connection credentials for vCenter server, so that KSV is able to get information about the virtual infrastructure and the location of the NSX manager. After providing the credentials confirm the security exception for the vCenter server certificate. And then click on the register Kaspersky security services link. Enter NSX Manager Connection Settings and Credentials. In order to register Kaspersky Security Services in NSX, select SVM Images for File Antivirus and Network Attack Blocker, and proceed with Connection Settings Configuration. The images must be available via HTTP. Please ensure that Integration Server, KSC and NSX Manager have appropriate host names and DNS, if required directly specify their IP addresses and port. Configure credentials for the SVM so that it can be configured via KSC and in a shell, for further troubleshooting in case of problems. As a result Kaspersky Security Services are integrated with NSX, and this can be verified in NSX Manager. To do this, open the VMware Web Client, navigate to the Network and Security section, and then to the Service Definition section, 
and ensure that the security services are presented in the list. Since NSX security services are deployed by NSX Manager, you have to specify this in NSX Manager. Navigate to the Installation section and select the Kaspersky Anti-Malware and Network Protection Services accordingly. The services will be deployed to all ESXi hosts of the selected clusters. As a final step select which networks will be available for the services and where SVM data files will be stored. Optionally you can decide how the SVM will get an IP address, it could be configured manually or acquired by a DHCP. Wait until both SVMs are deployed and confirm that Kaspersky security services are up and running. After SVM deployment they become available in KSC for management and further configuration. In the VMware Web Client, navigate to the Network and Security section and then select Service Composer. Create a new security group. Define its name. Membership Criteria and Confirm Group Creation. As you can see, some of the VMs were added to the group because their OS is Windows based. To perform some actions on the machines in the group, you need to create an NSX security policy that states which security services should be applied to the group's virtual machines. To do this, specify the Kaspersky anti malware service to be used as guest introspection. and then specify the Kaspersky Network Protection Service to be used for network introspection. The latter should have specified scope and traffic direction. In this case, policy actions will be applied to the virtual machines within the group, and to any network traffic designated to, or originated from the group. To monitor incoming and outgoing group traffic, add two network introspection services one for each traffic direction. Finally apply the policy to the created groups. To enable the SVMs to scan intercepted file events happening on the protected virtual machines, and provide network protection, you need to deploy product licenses on each SVM. To do this, open KSC and create an application activation task. In the task, Select a license that will be deployed to the SVM. The license must be added to KSC prior to activation. Wait until the task finishes successfully. It is also required to update antivirus bases on both SVMs. To do so, create an update task in KSC. Start it, and wait until it finishes. Kaspersky Security Services start working after protection policies are applied to the protected virtual machines. To create the protection policy, 
open KSC and create a new policy for the given group, which contains SVMs. In the policy properties, in the protected infrastructure section, connect to vCenter server to define the protection scope and see the managed inventory. Enable network attacks protection and save the policy. Confirm that SVM statuses are green in KSC. Now let's simulate a virtual machine infection, and see how NSX reacts to it, but first let's configure the desired groups and policies. In the VMware Web Client, navigate to the Network and Security section, and then select Service Composer. Create a new security group and define its name. As the membership criteria for this group, Dedicated NSX security tags should be defined to select virtual machines with detected malware. Select the virus found security tags and complete the group creation. Add a new firewall rule for outgoing traffic that will block any network activity originated from the group. Add the same rule for network traffic designated for the group. Save policy settings and apply the policy. Review the security tags list for the protected virtual machine. Notice that it has no security tags assigned at the moment. Connect to the virtual machine and check the network connectivity. Ping some external resources or access any web page via browser. The external resources and web page are available. Now create an IGAR test virus file. For this use the IGAR text message available in the KL Technical Support article. The file will be deleted by KSV immediately after being saved. And then network connectivity of the virtual machine will be blocked by the NSX firewall. When virtual machines are isolated, it is recommended to create and run an on-demand scan task to be sure that no malware is left on them. Ensure the protected VM has the assigned tag. To make the virtual machines available via their domestic networks, you have to delete the security tag assigned to them. To do that, click the Manage link under the Virtual Machines Security Tags list, and uncheck the assigned security tags.
confirm that network connection is restored, and the virtual machine is moved to the default NSX security group without active firewall rules. From the Kaspersky Security Center check the events registered during malware detection. Congratulations! You have finally deployed file and network protection, and prevented virus outbreaks on your virtual machines, which will be automatically isolated from the network, with the help of NSX in case of malware infection. If due to some reason you didn't succeed, please refer to the following resources for troubleshooting. For additional information about KSV product and its features, read the POC guide and product documentation to be familiar with rest of KSV functionality. We hope this video was informative, and we'd like to thank you, for viewing.